Hello and welcome to another edition of Sparky Help, this time a TNCS, a fault loop path and how to master it. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. So this, what we have on the screen so far, is the Delta Star Distribution Transformer. This is the secondary winding. And we've had, it would normally be three phase, but I've just drawn it as single phase. This is the secondary side from the winding through to the incoming supply, the main switch within the property. So we have the fuse that is shown there is the service fuse and the service cutout and then the switch shown is your main switch within the property which would isolate the supply. So the fuse comes out to the line conductor and goes to your load. Obviously for it to work we need a return path and this is the neutral. We must always take an earth to every point and there we have it, there's our CPC so we have our line neutral and CPC. But we need to make this a TNCS and it literally comes out of that point and into the neutral link out of the side of the service cutout. Let's label it up. So we have the line conductor R1, the neutral conductor Rn, the CPC R2. We have the transformer winding. We have the star point of the transformer. We have the earth electrode of the transformer. We have the main service fuse. We have the main switch. We have the overcurrent protective device, which is a fuse and or circuit breaker. We have an exposed conductive part on the appliance or the load or whatever that happens to be. We have our neutral link. We have our MET. The MET can be internal within a distribution board or it can be external on the wall. We have our earthing conductor, which connects from the MET to the neutral link to the source of earth. And this conductor that goes back then is a pen conductor. Now let's introduce the fault. A fault, not that we want one, but if we do, we want a fault of negligible impedance. In other words, we want a spectacular fault. And there we have a fault from line down to the casing, in this case, down to earth. And let's label it as such. Now current will flow, and it will flow in this direction. And then up through the earthen conductor and down through the return pen conductor. So there we go. There's the earth fault loop path for a TNCS. This is Spark Help. Thank you very much.